so uh, without any further ado, I want to tell you guys just uh, one quick little story to, to start the evening uh, of uh, a, a near-death experience that I had that I remember uh, a couple, like this is like years ago. I've had multiple near-death experiences. Uh, I've almost been run off the road by like semi-trucks. Uh, I've driven from Frederick, Maryland at three o'clock in the morning during a snowstorm on the turnpike, uh, which would legal like that, that shouldn't have been a thing I should have done. I should have just like not. When you see semi trucks pulling over on the side of the road because they can't make it down the mountain, you should probably follow suit. Uh, that's that's like a big lesson that I learned. Uh, by the way, you guys can turn on your mics and like be be loud and stuff throughout the show. Uh, I feel like I should have mentioned that, but uh, I thought figured you guys would have all known anyway, but I forgot about that. Um, but this particular near-death experience that uh, I had was when I was in college, uh, I decided, we, we decided to do this trip as a, as a group uh, that we were going to go to, uh, I don't even remember what park we were going to go to, but we all decided, let's go whitewater river rafting. We'll go do a weekend of camping and we'll do some whitewater river rafting. And I know when you guys look at me, you guys go look at this guy and you go look at his blazer. That is an outdoorsy blazer for sure. This guy definitely knows how to start a fire. He's won some patches in his lifetime. Uh, but uh, I, I do not do well in the woods. <laughs> Surprise. You guys, I don't do well in the woods. Uh, the woods are where people go to die, and <laughs> bears live in the woods. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware of dosu things, but that is pretty much what I've associated the woods to me. But I went, and then like we kept off the weekend whitewater river rafting, and I'd never done it before, and like none of us had done it before. There were five of us in this thing, uh, and you know we we had my friend Nikki who was like gonna go to the Navy, so she was real gung ho about it. Uh, my friend Julia and uh, our friend Pi and our friend Steph was all there, and Pi was like he was like a bigger dude. Uh, pretty much just imagine like the opposite of me, and that's. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. Pi was built to, to be in the woods, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure at one point he killed a bear and just, like, de just kept it to himself, you know? That was, his, that was his whole plan for the camping trip. But we went down, and there's, there's all these guides that, like, give you directions on, on what to do and stuff. Uh, and, like, hey, this rapid is uh, level one, and you'll be, you know, just, like, try to follow... Uh, what, what we say, if you feel like you're going to hit this thing, like, do, you know, do this or, or whatever. So we felt pretty okay about the whole thing. And then we came up to this one very intense rapid and they were like, listen, you have the option. We're legally obligated, which is exactly what you want to hear during like, uh, a debt defined trip is that they're, they're legally obligated to make a statement, <laughs> uh, which just means, Hey, people have died. Uh, and we don't want the lawsuit. Right. Like, that's really all that means. And they're like, we're legally obligated to tell you that there is a trail that you can, like, get take your raft and lift and lift your raft and walk over this part because this part's like super dangerous. And if you fall and you don't catch the rope, you can get sucked under and like drown. And uh, and, and that's not great. Uh, that kind of ruins the, the the rafting trip for everybody. It's a real bummer. Uh, from here on out. So we kind of looked at it and we were like, fuck it, let's do this thing, right? Like we, so we took it head on and we followed all the directions and we made it out of this thing uh, with nobody falling out. And then after this point, we were just like, nothing can kill us. We are invincible. Where are the bears? Bring on the bears. <laughs> I will fucking kill one right now. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> so... We go through the rest of the trip. Everything's like mostly fine, right? And we come up to, they're, they're like, we got one more like medium size rapid. Uh, and then, you know, and then there's a, a long stretch and then we'll be, it, we'll, we'll, we'll come to the end of the trip, right? And we were like, fucking, we got this. We're experts. We're champions at this thing. Did you see us at the murder rapids? We <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> we nailed it at the murder rapids. So this thing is called the whale, is what they call it. They call it the whale rock uh, because it's this giant rock that kind of just looks like a, a, a beaching whale. 
And then off to the side are these like more jagged rocks. And you basically have to like, t the way you have to go is like you have to tilt your, <laughs> tilt your raft a little to the side and let the rapid carry you down and out, right? So it goes down and out. And then you're, and then you're, it's like smooth sailing for the rest of the time. Uh, and we were coming in and we, you know, because we were kind of uh, uneven because there were five of us and not six of us in our, in our raft, uh, one side had to paddle more than the other and we had to overcompensate. So we got this guy, we got this guy like yelling from the top of this rock, just going, hey, left side, more paddle, more paddles. So we all start paddling real hard on the left side. Uh, and then they're like, no, the right side needs to paddle more. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so by this time, <laughs> we are now completely sideways. And the dude just goes, brace for impact. So <laughs> that's what I did. I braced for impact. And I like kind of ducked in. <laughs> and I brought my paddle in. And we slammed into the rock. And as we got pulled away, I, the, I don't know what happened. But I tipped backwards. And I fell and I just went under the water, right? And, and, I, and at this point, it's just like, that's that, like at that point, I was just like, it's over. This is it. This is, th this is the end of my life. I've, you know, I'm, I'm 20. Uh, I feel like I've had a good life. Uh, I've, I've, I think I've done all the drugs that I feel like <laughs> I want to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which was totally wrong because uh, there were there's like so many more drugs like even, <laughs> even to this day there's like so many more drugs i can do you guys there's like so many they just keep inventing more drugs <laughs> for for everybody to do but <laughs> the only thing like the only thing that positive that went through my head is well i guess i don't have to pay back those fucking student loans anymore right yeah. that's like <laughs> it was just like, like that's the only that's the only moment in my life where I where I think I genuinely was just like fuck capitalism take me like it's <laughs> I was like who gives a shit right <laughs> like, but I literally like, I went under and I could feel the the bottom of the raft uh, and I apparently I went under and I got caught in the rapid and I and I swirled like I I I like I don't know what but I, I just moved up and I just remember. Pie's hand reaching under and picking me up out of the water like I was like <laughs> <laughs> a fucking wet raccoon. <laughs> and, you know how like a mother lion picks up its cub by like the back of the, the scruff? Like that's how he had me. He was like <laughs> he was like a fucking gladiator that like had just finished off his prey to, and was like showing it to the emperor to be like, shall I finish the job, sir? <laughs> That's what it felt <laughs> like. But throughout the whole thing, like I just kept hearing the dude on the rock just going, get him back into the raft, but get that paddle though. But get him, get him, but that paddle is real. <laughs> Real, get that paddle. It's real important, though. Get him back in the raft. Seriously, get that paddle because it's gonna come out of my paycheck, and that's super not cool. We buy them in bulk, and I and if we lose one, we gotta buy another buck. But get him into the the paddle's important, though. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> <laughs> we did not get the paddle back, um, but. Oh, I no. <laughs> <laughs> That that paddle is dead, and uh, hopefully doesn't have to pay back its student loans. You know, I hope that. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a great fucking life somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, and then like one of the other uh, <laughs> other guides was just like, "Here, take my paddle." And I was like, "What are you gonna do?" And he's like, "I'm gonna fucking hang out here for the rest of the day. I think we're done." <laughs> like, what's that? that was. Uh, and, you know, we got to the end and uh, we, 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 you know, got off and got onto the bus and uh, my friend Nikki was like, hey, I can't wait to do this next year. And I was like, can't you, can't you wait to do this next year? I feel like I can. <laughs> I think I'm good with white. I'm just going to go to the South uh, and I think tell a lot of really political jokes about socialism. I feel like that's less dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's less dangerous. 
that was my near-death experience uh, that I remember 